Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to be making a special request tutorial. And the request came from MetalX1000. I suggest checking out his channel and his videos, they're pretty cool. And um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to have a bunch of small fragments of a picture come on down and form one big picture. Now, the original one was made by MetalX1000 with a different program, but he said he couldn't figure it out in Blender so that's what I'm doing it's not gonna look as good and it's not gonna be 3d because Blender I can't handle it and if, and if it can I don't know how to do it so you know but I figured it out so it looks pretty decent and um, be sure to check out his video and um, please comment rate and subscribe if you like my tutorials okay so let's get started so I'm gonna be really fast because I have to push this into 10 minutes and I can't do that if I explain every single thing so I'm sorry so I delete the cube go into front view space add mesh plane rx90 press tab to go into edit mode press subdivide twice go into face select mode and what you want to do is you want to press one face right click it press Y and split and then keep doing that I'm gonna pause it real quick okay so I just did the rest off camera so now we're gonna unwrap it and put a picture on it. Split area, okay. Go here to UV image editor. If you haven't seen my UV map uh, UV mapping tutorial, then I suggest you do. Now press A to select all. And now you wanna add an image. So I'll just find a nice image. Okay, now press U, unwrap. Make sure you have everything selected or else it won't work. Now just click this here, press tree. Okay. Now make sure you press U, project from bounds, and not unwrap. Okay. So now, the textured. So if we would do unwrap, then this happens. Doesn't look good. Project from bounds, smooths it out, makes it perfect. Okay. So now we're gonna use shape keys. Go to shapes, add shape key. If you haven't seen my shape key tutorial, then I suggest you do that. Now we have the basis. Add a shape key. Press tab this make sure you're in face select mode press GZ minus 2 that brings it down the face that we selected down to blender units press tab to go back to object mode and it added the shape key go back to basics add another shape key and the reason why we didn't just add another shape key normally is because we want the this basis to uh, deform into that one piece being down there and then we're just gonna have them go all the way out down and down and down Press tab, press this one, GZ minus 2, tab, go back to basis, add shape key, tab, press the third one, GZ minus 2. Now, this is a lot of repetitive work, so I'm just gonna pause it and then when I come out, I'll be done. Okay, so I just did that all. Now, if I flip through them, then as you can see, each one does what they're supposed to. Now we're just going to add in the shape keys. So go to Ashen Editor, Add New. Now, this is going to take a long time. So, frame 1 uh, this is going to be the basis. So we're going to skip every 20 frames. So press up twice, it goes to frame 21. And go to key 1, okay? And turn this one up. Now, what you're going to want to do now is make sure that all of the rest of them are at zero so that uh, it implants a shape key that at this frame it should still stay at zero because if you would put um, the last one to go on the last frame then it would be moving throughout all of those frames and as you can see we have all these things to do so I'll just do all of these okay so now if we press go to 1, press Alt A, then only this one goes down. Now, let's go to key 2. Now this one. Now, what would we play? Yeah, so, sorry. Stay at basis since we're at frame 1 to 21. Now go up to 41. Go to key 2. Turn this one up. And make sure it's at 0. So go back in front with this little thing here. So we're almost done. 
you just gotta do all this and it's just really painstaking to do but it gets the job done so I'm gonna do this with all of these and make sure you go 20 by 20 so I'm gonna pause it and then I'm gonna show you the final animation and then I'm gonna render it and I'm gonna show you that so I'm just gonna pause this okay guys so I'm almost out of time so what I, I just did that and um, here's all the shape keys and you wanna make sure that the camera outside line is just out there and that it's still inside so this is pretty good so this is what it looks like and I'm gonna render it almost out of time here so I gotta hurry up there we go and so okay so I'm a, so it's pretty good so I'm just gonna turn the size of the Y or I'll just fix that later so what you want to do is you want to press this just to make sure it works you know and it won't work without this press text face and shadeless and that'll make it perfect and since it's gonna be longer than 250 frames you can just change the end there okay so I'm gonna render it and I'll show it at the end right now okay so thanks for watching and be sure to check out Metal X 1000's profile okay thanks